Hello? Is this good? Okay. Hi, my name is Emmy, and I'm a poet from Abraham Lincoln High School. Four, four, seven years ago! I'm in ninth grade, and my poem is called Perfection. Time. A ticking clock that limits my ability to make things perfect. The chair that I sit on, for example, shows striped perfection. The stand on its seat reminds me of the time I spilled paint on it. The scratches that spell my name remind me of getting in trouble for the first time. Perfection is like the bully on the block, crushing my dreams to dust. Dust isn't perfect, so I sit here trying my hardest to be the best. Maybe I tried too hard. This thought has killed my dreams so many times, over and over and over again, trying to make everything around me perfect, but losing what I value most, my hopes and dreams. My dream is now excellency, but... But what is excellency if not a goal that has never reached, a bomb that never explodes, an arrow that is never shot? What is my life if not a small plant and a vast forest, a comet and a universe of stars and planets? If my life is meaningless, then why do I have to reach perfection? Perfection is a goal, one that I no longer want to reach for. Life in itself is not a goal goal. Life is the moments that make up a day, a week, a month. Years pass by like seconds when you are in the moment, but when you are aiming for perfection, but years pass by like seconds when you are, in, when you are pass by like decades when you are in the moment. But how do I live with imperfection? And what even is time? Is it the moments that make up a day? Is it physical? Or is time irrelevant? Does time make me who I am? Does perfection dictate my feelings? So, time, is it a ticking clock that limits my ability to make things perfect? Or do things not need to be perfect? Maybe my idealist mind is the problem. Maybe I need to change. This pain has suffocated me like a noose around my soul. This pain, it is called perfection, beautiful yet dangerous. But isn't imperfection worse? Like a child broken and beaten, its heart aching for love. Is that why my heart aches? Because I need perfection's love, its stamp of approval? Or do I settle with imperfection? Does imperfection know love, or do I force love out with perfection? Perfection's grasp around my heart never loosens. Imperfection will always be there. And when I let things go, they are more beautiful than I ever could have forced them to be.